Hi, good morning everybody. It's Brittany at Big Cat Rescue here in Tampa, Florida. Give you guys a couple of minutes here to share this. Tag each other. My goal for this morning's live is to go find Max Bobcat because it's his 11th rescue anniversary. There's a Mr. Hutch. Hi, sir. Come here. What are you doing today? You've got big plans. You guys will have to forgive me. My voice is very weak. Um, they cut all kinds of trees out here yesterday. And I could feel it like starting to come on during meds, but I was so congested and just sick <laughs> last night. I keep checking. I don't have a fever, but it sure feels like that. So I did just take some allergy medication, so I'm gonna just take my time and we'll say hello to some small cats along the way. That was Mr. Hutch. We've got Zucari up here too. So good morning Kate. Hi Chris. Hi Noor. Hey Tammy. Oh, it was not a late notice. It just got started. There's Carol out shooting videos. If you guys haven't been watching uh, the supporter videos. Carol's been creating a lot of those. And Mr. Zucari. So we're gonna go see Max because it's his rescue anniversary. So if you guys haven't signed up to be one of the supporters um, on Facebook, you guys are missing out on some exclusive Carol videos. all felt bad because we not many of us have a whole lot of extra time to continue making little videos and they need to be exclusive meaning we're not posting them anywhere else and unless I get a second set of arms and <laughs> multiple additional cameras there's no way I can always shoot video for Instagram Facebook TikTok, and Facebook supporters so <laughs> Carol is taking it into her own hands because Lauren's in the same boat as me she's shooting 360 and for TikTok so it's just <laughs> here's our morning rainbow yep I think she's been keeping up with the daily reports and coordinator reports and all of that as well so that is super helpful to me it's not easy to feel like the whole world's on your shoulders, <laughs> especially when you're not usually even necessarily included in what's going on. I'm finding out a lot of in real time stuff, just like you guys are. So Max and Marianne live right across the lake here. So we're gonna walk until we find a cat. Breakfast just wrapped up, so that can be a little more difficult. Everyone's grooming somewhere. Well, we just walked by Kali and I didn't see her out. <laughs> well, I've never seen that before. There's a Simba in that den. I've never seen you go in there before. That is Jasmine calling. Oh, nope, that's Aria calling. Is that why you're hiding? Miss Aria's hollering at everybody? <laughs> Either that or it's because it's shady and cool. Yeah, that was totally Aria calling right now. I just assumed it was Jasmine because she's a lot chattier, but... What's up with that, girly? What's up with that, girly? <laughs> Hi, honey. Who are you trying to get the attention of? Oh, maybe that vulture? I don't know. I'm not sure if that was a territorial roar or more of a 
boys next door roar. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Just out for your morning walk. Cats mark their territory in all kinds of ways. A lot of it's very destructive, but they are very good at establishing it with sound as well. <laughs> the funniest thing happened yesterday. Carol sends me and Deb an email and it's like, should I dispute this issue on YouTube? Because they're saying that we used um, like a pre-recorded sound that we're not authorized to use and it was bird sounds and I just laughed so hard because I was like the birds here are amazing and they're always noisy and yesterday was especially noisy so it was just really funny that we'd have to dispute our beautiful sanctuary sounds because they sound pre-recorded. So we are looking for some bobcats, some celebratory bobcats. So Max Bobcat officially has lived here for 11 years now. Apparently he was a kitten that was bought from an illegal breeder in Rhode Island. And when the owner of said pet tried to take it to the vet, the vet flagged it and was like, this is illegal, they're not supposed to be pets. So he was confiscated and he came here and then the owner tried to get him back. He's living here now for 11 years. And just a handful of years into living here is when he was introduced to Mary Ann. If you guys watch our Instagram all day, you're gonna see just how darn cute they are. Hi Mary Ann, where's your boy? Where's your boy? Where's that boy at? It's not your anniversary. It's not your anniversary. Where's Maxie? Well, if you're on this side, that means Max has to be, oh, right here. You're right here. Hi, mister. Here, let me walk around. See if I can get some kind of angle on you. Hi, cutie pie. Of course, you got some grass in front of your face, but. Yeah. Oh, then I gotta get. There we go. You just untangled there. You got all kinds of grass everywhere. Happy anniversary, Max Max our sweetest little enrichment boy. I'm gonna post some of the cutest photos of him and him and Marianne over on Instagram. I just crossed over my seven year volunteer anniversary here. And I was looking back through old photos and from the very beginning, Max and Marianne were just always stealing the show when it came to playing with enrichment. And they've had some really cute setups over the years too. This grass is driving me crazy. That's all it wants to focus on. That's all it wants to focus on, sweet boy. Fluffy, but this is nothing compared to Winter Max. This is Summer Max, where he actually looks skinnier and lankier. He's just huge regardless. He's by far our largest bobcat here. Yeah. Everybody's wishing you a happy anniversary. Just like that 
it's nice and all, but I really just want, I want to be over there with Mary Ann. Cutie pie. Cutie pie. Hi, mister. These tigers are being rowdy today. Do you think they're telling you happy anniversary or something else? that you were out where we could see you. Miss Marianne, you gonna be very, very nice to your boy today? You guys got anything special planned? So, Marianne, as most of you know, came in as part of the Gilligan's Island rescue. So she came in with several other cats from a really horrid backyard um, menagerie situation out in Kansas. So she came to us from that rescue in Kansas. Max came to us from being confiscated in Rhode Island because he's not a pet. Oh, you're looking sneaky all of a sudden. And then they were both pretty young at the time and so we kind of did a slow like you guys like each other type thing and of course they're fixed because we don't believe in breeding for life in cages here. And they were introduced several years ago on, not on Valentine's Day I don't think, but it was very near there. So we always say that that's your anniversary together. But Gilligan's Island just celebrated, I think, their nine-year rescue anniversary. And so Max was here a couple years prior. You guys can find all those backstories and all those birth dates and all those rescue anniversaries on their bio pages. BigCatRescue.org slash cat bio. an expressive bobcat tail. Gotta love an expressive bobcat tail. Yay, I'm so glad that you like all of the updates on the cat bio pages. That was two days of working feverishly to come up with the head banners for each cat and the shop all things graphic for each cat along with all the links but it looks great and Deb's been trying to make sure everybody's is updated there's quite a few where it's like we rescued them and then they've been here for five plus years and there's no additional information so and there we have thousands of photos floating around out there they're just not all on those pages so lots of work going into the bio pages so keep checking those out for us 
your best bet to get all the information you need so that when you're a part of these lives, you can help out in the comments. That's tremendously helpful to all of us. Right, Marianne? Do you think that we should go see Lovey now that I've been sitting here talking to you? You think Lovebug would like to see anybody? Probably not. <laughs> Alright, sweet lady. Make sure you spoil your boy today. Make sure you spoil that boy who's just totally snoozing over here. We don't have any like special enrichment or anything planned for him. He recently got spoiled with enrichment for a couple different things. So with like big enrichment, so they still get their daily enrichment, of course, sickles and treats, but nothing like over the top planned for today. I think once our enrichment group got through give day, they kind of took a little breather for a second to regather their thoughts and come up with some new ideas. You're my small girl. I keep seeing you every day though, honey. I gotta go this way. <laughs> oh, there's a Flintster. Hi, Flint. No. Did you hear that there's a super cute new Bobcat boy? Yeah, super cute. Makani is absolutely adorable. I put that fluffy round bed in with him yesterday and oh my lord, watching him make biscuits and roll around and lay all over that thing yesterday when I put it in there was like the sweetest thing I've ever seen. Oh, Lovey's up on top of our platform. That's exciting. This is the cage project that my husband and I are working on. And look, there's a lockout again. There's a lockout and you can actually see the den. <laughs> and you can actually walk all the way around the enclosure. So we're getting there. We can actually get to this water bowl now. So it's Tiger Lily's old enclosure. You probably remember this den that she was super fond of. I've got to thin out the top still a bit but there's like floor space. <laughs> of course, we're gonna rake it and then put down grass seed and do all of that. But for now, just the simple fact that you can walk all the way around it. And it took us an entire day just to uncover that den. But there it is. So eventually, Kelowna and Dryden will have access to this. But hopefully, starting maybe Thursday, if we both have time, we gotta tackle this monster here. <laughs> so, there's a love bug. Hi, lovey. I'm gonna have to put you guys up tall, so I'm not gonna be able to see what you guys are saying on the screen, but here's lovey. Here's Miss Lovey. Hi, oh, pretty girl. Pretty pretty. You look pretty sleepy. Look like a pretty sleepy bobcat. Yeah, so sleepy. Thank you for spending so much time with us, love bug.
Thank you for hanging out with us, lady. That was awesome. Of course, I couldn't see a single thing you guys were saying. This is where the construction, they are taking apart this big enclosure in the middle. And I'm not totally sure where they're putting it, but somehow there's going to be a new enclosure for Mouser. <laughs> Levy has such a special place in my heart. She, when I first became a staff member four years ago, my goal was to make sure that every single cat had at least one unique item or design in the gift shop because not everyone did. It was primarily like tigers and a sort of a couple generic designs, but nothing like catering to each cat specifically. And I'd love for them all to have more than one, but one was my original goal. This is Sue. And so Lovey was one of the first designs I ever kind of came up with in my head. And I sent the idea to Natalie and still to this day, it's one of my favorites. And it just says, have a lovey day. And it's a play on the have a nice day, smiley face design from way back in the day, <laughs> very retro. And when she sent the design back to me, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. I want it on everything. So that design is still out there. Have a lovey day. You just search for lovey bobcat at bigcatrescue.biz. And pretty much now you can search for every single cat and you're going to find something. It might not actually have their face on it yet, but we're still getting there. They should at least have products. So you can search for Sue Bobcat or Lakota Bobcat. Moses and Bailey, Des and Diablo, all of those cats have probably the least amount of designs and various things in the gift shop, but at least they have something now. So I feel very proud of that. Sue baby. She's like, I want to groom, but I don't, I don't know. Where's Nakoda? Did Coda take your side? That boy. Usually Sue and Lakota separate pretty easily. And she has always had a certain lockout and he always ate in a different lockout, but lately he's been switching it up and he's the one that refuses to leave. So he must be on the other side or they're both already together. I never know. Sometimes the feeders put them back together when they finish. Sometimes they wait till the cleaners come around. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to figure out exactly where Mouser is moving because I was sort of under the impression that maybe we were rebuilding this one, but they're definitely continuing to take it down. I'm sure you guys probably already know. I haven't had enough time to really watch through all of the videos Carol's been putting out, and that is usually how I get a lot of my information. <laughs> so we'll see. I might try to do that today. Just stream through all the videos from the last like two weeks that aren't my own. <laughs> There's that boy. Hi, Lakota. Hey, sir. Let us see you. People don't know you're here if they don't see you. Ooh. Nope, he says no. Definitely said no. All right, buddy. I get it. He definitely said no, and I respect it. We'll walk back this way, and then 
I might start walking back towards my office and just see if there's any other tigers out along the way. Here's a Dryden up there, which is always very cute, and a Culona in the box. Culona's <laughs> cute little eyes peeking over. You are so sneaky, lady. Nice to see them. You don't always get to see them. There's a Nabisco. Doesn't even know I'm here. Let's see, watch them for now. Hi! Where'd I come from? Very interested in Val, aren't you? Val lives next door over there. Cutie pies. <laughs> I don't see her out though. I was hoping maybe I'd like catch her randomly. She likes to sit on the ramp up to the ferns and then you'd actually see her out. But yesterday on the live, we actually got a really good viewing of her. Yep, we got Summer Biscuit here. Summer Biscuit. Hi, cutie. I know, I got you riled up now. Yeah, I don't see her out anywhere. Well, let's go ahead and walk this way and kind of backtrack and see if we can see anybody didn't see on the way in. Maybe Cody. Because they gotta walk back that way anyway, so. <laughs> Might as well carry you guys with me. Thank you to everybody who shared this and tagged your friends and family. Everybody who's helping out in the comments. I see Max Tiger in a good spot, so we might stop and see him real quick. And for anybody who's been bidding on his eBay auctions, they end in less than 15 minutes, so. Good luck to everybody, and I'm hoping they bring in a really good amount for the cats. Our donations on Facebook have just been really, really low. And with us still not being open to the public, it gives me a lot of stress for the cats. <laughs> so the eBay auctions and the online store are a nice buffer to continue bringing in money for the cats. Plus, you guys get really awesome stuff. Oh, I saw him in here, but I thought he was facing the other way, so it's not as great of a view. <laughs> I'm just maxing and relaxing in there. Hi, Max Max. He's like, no. No thanks, I'm sleeping. This is his favorite den. So, 
Boo. I thought I was going to show him. Let me see if I can walk around this other way. From the distance, I was like, oh, he's in that den. That's perfect. I was not factoring in. It would be his booty. There we go. Maybe I can zoom from here. There we've got a maxi face. Maxi moo. Tongue out Tuesday. You're the winner. <laughs> he is so darling, you guys. All three of those boys are just absolutely incredible, but Max sure is special. Don't let your tongue touch the dirt, though. <laughs> Don't let that tongue touch the dirt. That is definitely full belly and dab a pent and satin in. Max is on a regular pain management because of all the limping that he has done basically from the day he arrived, we noticed. All three of them were that way. Circus tigers raised in transport cages and living their entire life in something no bigger than a queen size mattress. It's going to give them lots of aches and pains and development issues. And we definitely see it prominently in Simba and Max. Kimba is obviously much younger. He had far less years of going through that. Simba and Max get pretty limpy, but I've even seen Kimba do it too, so. <laughs> still in that den. He must have discovered maybe when it started raining. I think it might have rained here yesterday, finally. We have just desperately needed the rain. I know I finally got it at home, which was like such a relief. that was his driest, warmest place, and now he's hooked. I don't know, I've never seen him in there before. So hopefully we'll see a Kali. That's where we'll wrap up for today. If you missed any of this live, you can always rewatch it and all the others, dailybigcat.com. Make sure if you guys want to see all those exclusive Carol videos that you become a supporter. She's using her cinematic mode on her phone. I don't have that. She's got, I think, the newer uh, phone and it looks incredible. Here's my girl. Hopefully she'll just stay over there. I'm not even going to co coax her over. Hopefully she's just cozy. This is Cully Tiger. <laughs> Very big yawn. So you can go to dailybigcat.com and rewatch this. That's our secondary YouTube. Please make sure you guys have subscribed over there. We'd love to see those numbers jump up. You can also rewatch um, all of these on our Facebook page. You can follow us on Twitter. And then we post all kinds of other random, not shown anywhere else type of things <laughs> on TikTok and Instagram. Again, over on Instagram, every few hours I'll be posting whole handfuls of really cute Max Bobcat photos. But we're just going to hang here with her for a few minutes since she's over there calm and looking beautiful. Kali's our oldest tiger here at Big Cat Rescue, so it's like being several hundred <laughs> into her hundreds. And she's slowing down quite a bit, but she sure still loves her keepers and her food. <laughs> of course, she's gonna hide her face. Typical cat. But you guys can enjoy her belly.
Thank you if there were any donations today. Really appreciate that. And I really appreciate everybody who helped answer questions and talked to each other in the comments. You guys have built such a cute community of everybody helping everybody and means a lot to us here. Thank you, Anita. I hope you guys all have a great day too. Normally haven't been doing uh, very many lives on Tuesdays because I've been feeding and cleaning, but I've got my hours for the month and I really need to do some things on our online store today. You're right, Becca, her birthday is coming up. Kali is actually our only birthday cat for June. She'll be 22, so, but it's, I think it's at the end of June, so. Do have a handful of anniversaries to celebrate though so we will be continuing to do that look at that big old paw it practically covers her whole giant face Gorgeous lady. Gorgeous lady. Can you just chuff from there? water babe like she got something stuck on her tongue or something <laughs> very licky all right guys hope you all have a great rest of your day weather permitting time permitting i'll try to see you guys again tomorrow <laughs> she's just in bath bathing mode maybe she's got a hair on her tongue <laughs> Keep wanting to like segue into turning this off but look how gorgeous she is I can't do that you guys can't get enough of these cats just like we can't. You can watch them live 24-7 on dozens of cameras. BigCatCams.com. I'm sure the most popular one is going to be Kitten Cabana with Makani. But I especially love keeping the Caracal cameras up and Jinx's camera up just, just so you know you get a drive-by. Manny's pool camera. You just never know. Get those feetsies clean. Alright guys, have fun watching the baby today. 